not sure if this is live yet. Please. Hi, this is Ann Hibber, Log Cabin Leather, for another session of my Maker Monday series. I'm going to start off by apologizing. The series is supposed to be at 1 o'clock today, and I was very excited about it because it's the launch of my new um, product lines and, of course, internet issues. Um, must have been down tree. We're having a um, rainstorm, but high winds at times, and I'll knock the tree lot it's up and down because the power was out. It wasn't out for too long, but in any event, it, of course, affected my show in the video um, or making the video. <laughs> so going live. So here I am again. Jen Hibbard from Log Cabin Leather. Um, I make handmade leather products here in the basement of my log cabin home. And um, today I'm going to show you some new products I'm making. I'm having so much fun with this collection. It's um, my very newest collection. It's something I've wanted to do for many years, but have never really had the ability to do it before. Um, again, it's a handmade leather jewelry collection and um, handmade leather hair pieces. Um, and again, I don't know if a lot of you know this about me, but I was a teacher for 30 years, and um, I always did themes with my kids. I taught kindergarten, so I get to, and I was the director. them interested in love in science and we were always outside and we were exploring and going on field trips and things like that so one of my units was insects and so we would raise a lot of insects from eggs all the way right up you know see the whole life cycle of things um, and um, as a teacher most of us budget wise there isn't a lot of budget money in there so a lot of materials I bought myself which were books mostly um, um, so these are some books I've had since I was a teacher now, I left my teaching job in 2012, um, but I taught for 30 years. So these two books are what I use to base this new collection. They're basically all butterflies, and they are hair pieces that I have. And how this collection is done now, it is something, because now in the past, when I could make butterflies, you could buy this shape for a while, which was kind of pretty, with the cutouts in it. And you could buy, and then later on, this was a shape I found, which is pretty much the same thing without the pretty cutouts in it. So, yes, you can put more designs on it, but still, they're not as pretty as I would like them to be. Um, but now I've gotten this new piece of equipment, which is what I'm going to be talking about the whole month of um, May, how this collection is made. But they are beautiful little butterflies. So they're all, this is called an Indian leaf. They are based on the shapes of real butterflies. They are, I've drawn them out by hand. But now the earrings are exact replica of the larger ones, just made smaller. And then I also have the butterflies even smaller on a flower. So these are all made out of leather. They're very durable. They're very lightweight. Um, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. So each set again. So here's the monarch butterfly. Is on a daisy. These have the monarch earrings just by themselves, which all I don't know. On my website, you can see the earrings are a little bit bigger than a quarter. This is a, the daisy is about the size of a quarter. The biggest one is probably a fifty cent piece size. So, but they're very lightweight. They all have surgical steel wires. At the moment, again, I cannot wear earrings, so I would be modeling one of these, but I cannot. They all are named according to the, um, pretty much the shape of the butterfly for the hair pieces. And again, the one, the butterflies on the flowers are kind of named for the flowers. And so some, this collection I just showed you now has the stick hair pieces. So these are all the hair, you know, the sticks for your hair. Um, so all the ones I just showed you now have the stick ones and now these have the clips. So this, I love this one. It's a little hair streak. The little tiny ones on the purple flowers, I think, are, I think are beautiful. I know my lighting is that's not showing up too good. I should have a white background here, I guess. Um, that has a two-inch hair clip. We have a swallowtail here. That has a two-inch, or the clip is a two-inch hair clip. But again, on the um, sunflower. A swallowtail by itself. Now, see, this is another piece because I was thinking of making necklaces because I've done some necklaces in the past. But then I decided for this collection, um, maybe I would go with, you know, 
I didn't know how many people would want the necklaces. If you think that's something that you'd also be interested in, it's certainly something I can do because, again, I can make these butterflies any size I want once I've made my pattern. And, again, how I make the patterns and how these are made uh, is something I'm going to be talking about the whole month of May. So now these are just some barrettes I've come up with. I haven't made earrings with them. But again, based on the real shapes of butterflies, things like that. Um, and I'll show you again, based on the books that I showed you a minute ago. So now the earrings, again, depending, um, I think they're $28 for the single butterfly ones. I think they're $36 if it's on a flower. The hair pieces, the stick ones, I think are $16. And see, here are some other ones that do not have any earrings to match them yet. But are based on, that one you can't see is orange and yellow. Are based on real butterflies. Which again, here's the book. I actually took a picture like this and it's hard to tell what the real one and what's got the butterflies in the book there. Um. And the hair clips are 17, 18, and 20, I think, depending on whether they have two, four, or um, two, three, or four. So those are my new collections. That's the April showers and the Mayflower collection. I am absolutely thrilled with them. Now, a lot of people with the, the, the hair pieces, I say barrette, people make fun of the way I say that, um, you know, again, concerned about how much hair they will hold. Now, if you have a ton of hair, not all, you know, but if you have a small amount of hair, this trick is putting elastic. I have very fine hair. Very few things stay in my hair, even elastic play of the hat pack. But with the elastic, I can put this in behind the elastic and then out the other side. And even to hold just a small amount, and that's in there, you know, that's not going to come off my hair. Unless it, you know, and so I can put it in regardless. And you notice how I did that, which is, I think, the secret to putting these in. Don't pull the stick out on both sides. Leave it like this when you put it in, and then all you have to do is find the one hole. You don't have to worry about holding it there while you're finding both holes. And I think that's so much easier. Um, and so any of them, you know, and then you have the, the clip style. And again, you know, so that again, I just clip, make sure the elastic is somewhere underneath it. And again, obviously I can't see what I'm doing now. Um, I have a mirror here, and I hope, you know, you can see that. And so those have the clip like this. And the secret to these is this piece here can be taken out if you wanted to hold more hair. So that piece there, and then it will hold quite a bit of more hair. And all you have to do is bend it a little bit, and that will come out, and you can put it back in. Um, so that's the secret to making those hold more hair. But again, depending on the size of the butterfly, some hold, you know, more hair than others. But again, if you, you know, if you're interested in wanting a sure, I can make them larger. Like I said, I can resize them. They're all made from the same pattern, whether it's the little tiniest one here. Here are some that I've made, you know, that aren't painted. But all I can, once I've made the pattern, and like, again, I'll be showing that this week, I can resize it any size I want. So, um, you know, it's doable. Um so that is my new collection, the April Showers and the May Flowers collection. They are now available on my website, which, again, I guess I lost my paper that has my website listed on it. Um, Logcabinleatherbyjan.com is my website. So you can order the things right directly off the website now. Um, if you want to get in, you know, get the things before Mother's Day, um, I think they'd be beautiful that I can. I do have gift boxes um, for the earrings. And a whole, you know, a larger gift box that I can put uh, the butterfly, if you're buying a hair piece and the earrings in little boxes with ribbons. And they can be sh shipped directly to the person you want them for. Um, that way, because of the coronavirus and things, they don't have to change hands too many times. Here at Log Cabin Leather, the only person that touches the items is me. Um, and again, all my materials and stuff I've had long before this virus ever hit any place. So, um, you know, they're safe. Um, and it, well, I would take it directly to the post office. USPS is how I mail things. Um, Continental US really is all I'm mailing to at the current time. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can email me, jan at logcabinleatherbyjan.com. 
um, it's my email. You also on my website, I think you can, you know, find a phone number and things like that. You can call if you want to place an order that way. If you're a little leery about using a credit card and stuff over the computer, you know, computer, um, you know, there are different ways of getting things. If you're here in New Hampshire, you can, you know, you can pick it up, um, things like that. Um, and like I say, once again, and again, it looks like this is glitching a little bit because it keeps, <laughs> it keeps flickering here on my end. So I'm not sure what it's doing on your end. Um. Thank you very much for watching. I apologize again for the lateness of this. Um, computer issues are the story of my life. Um, again, today it had to be with weather. Um, most of my other computer issues I thought I had gotten rid of, but um, I'm not sure. Um, this new format on Facebook, sometimes I've had a little issues of like when it starts. I'm not sure when it actually starts or whatever. Um, but that I'm going to wrap it up now for today. Again, so this is the new April Showers and the Mayflowers collection of uh, leather butterfly accessories. Um, I think they're perfect for Mother's Day. Whether, you know, you can wear earrings. I wish I could wear earrings. I'd be modeling them. But, of course, I'm allergic to them, to the metals. So that's something I'm looking into, what metals are better um, for people who have allergies. At this point, I still don't think I would wear them because my holes have been closed up for probably over 40 years now. So... Um, maybe a little bit too late that I'm going to try that again, but nevertheless, um, that's something I'm working into. I'm also looking into earrings with posts if people prefer those. So I'd love to know what you think. Um, and comments, likes and shares are really what helps, um, my business grow. And the last thing actually I'm going to mention is I do have a giveaway going on. It ends on Thursday morning at 10 AM. The winner is going to be announced live here at 730 provided the internet works for me. Um, and one of the prizes is a gift set from one of these collections, a set of earrings in a barrette, whichever one you want. So you get a choice of 20 different sets of 20 different pairs of earrings and, you know, 10 different hair, hair pieces. So one hair piece, one set of earrings. Um, that's the third prize. The second prize is from the my previous collection, which is called the Paradise Collection, and that has a little heart-shaped necklace, again, all made out of leather, the adjustable neckline, um, cord, earrings. Again, these are a little bit longer. Again, the ones in this collection are, again, are about quarter size. Um, this has a, a Leather cuff, which again fits my wrist, but it's just to a smaller size as well that matches. And then the, the hair piece, feather shaped hair piece. These are all feather shapes, except for the heart. The heart has a little feather in the middle of it. Um, so that's a second prize there. And the other one is um, the first prize is really is more as a belt, so more geared for a man. But in any event, the giveaway runs on my website. It doesn't cost anything to join. You really just have to like and share my pages and things like that. That gets you entries. Um, there aren't a whole ton of people signed up, so you really do have a good chance if you join. And you can join right up until Thursday. And each day you can enter again and get more entries and, and increase your chance to win. So, you know, you ought to go for it, whether you're going to keep it for yourself or give it for a gift. Um, once we get out to go places, <laughs> it'll be nice to wear it. I'm sure it will get a lot of compliments. Um, but, you know, until that time, it's still, you know, I'm into the nature thing. So I think they're absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite places to visit is called the Butterfly Place. And I'm hoping to go there with my grandchildren. And, and my sister would absolutely even love it, too. So I'm hoping someday we can get back to normalcy and we can go to places and enjoy ourselves like that once again. So thank you very much, everybody. And again, I apologize for being late once again. This was Jan Hibbard from Log Cabin Leather um, for another session of my Make a Monday series. And today I introduced my brand new collections, the April Showers and the May Flowers collection, which you can find on my website, logcabinleatherbyjan.com. Just if you click on the jewelry, um, or the link up above, and then um, on the jewelry page, you'll see the barrettes and the earrings listed. Thank you very much for now. Have a great day. Stay self safe. Stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. Stay home. Um, and someday we'll get to get back together again. Thank you very much.